police justify the beating of a handcuffed man. I see we're, we're across the way now, across the country. Let's get into this one. Um, we'll watch and then we'll discuss. For one, let go, let go. Was I, am I being charged? Hey, let go. Am I charged for anything? Am I charged? Yo, go ahead, hit him, you're hitting him. Yeah, you're hitting him, I've recorded. I've recorded, yeah, yeah, hit him, hit him. I'm sending you all, I'm suing, I'm suing, I'm suing. Mike, it's okay, I'm suing. I'm Suing. I'm calling. Joey. I'm calling. Oh, Joey. I'm yeah. suing. You can't beat him like that. Yeah, no, you can't. He was just go laying back, there. Back, no, this is my house. Okay, go back. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. I know Allentown, Pennsylvania well. I grew up right outside of Philly, Westchester. I know this place. Pennsylvania Police Department says we didn't do anything wrong after beating a man who was in handcuffs in his own yard. I should have given you the viewer discretion. I guess I assume sometimes that we've seen it all, but I should have given you that. It all started when Alexis Eviston and her partner Michael Lucalino were reported for domestic disturbance. According to Alexis police, tapped on the door before bursting inside. They knocked two times, it was bang, bang. Then they opened up the door and came rushing in. Hmm. Police said a caller reported his sister was involved in a domestic dispute with an intoxicated man. When they arrived, they heard yelling coming from the apartment and a woman saying, Mike, get off me. According to the arrest affidavit. Michael was holding their four-year-old son when police barged in, Alexis claims. Two or three of the officers tried to arrest him without giving him any reason why. He was holding the child and just kept asking why they entered the home without a warrant or what was their reasoning. The High Valley News filling in the details. Police took Michael to the floor, allegedly stomping on his legs, carried him out the front door where Alexis began filming. I was screaming for them to get off of him. They were refusing to do so. I had to pry my child off him. Never seen anybody with that excessive force before. He was not moving, they proceeded to tase him. And then one of the other officers brought out a baton and started hitting him excessively. Then they picked him up and threw him in the van. The way that they beat him was just not okay. Lexus added, it was very unneeded. I'm not going to stop personally until I see justice and they get what they deserve. Mm. Allentown police say they did nothing wrong. In a statement last Monday, police captain Kyle Pammer said, Lucalini tripped an officer. (sighs) Had the officer's leg locked in his own legs and wouldn't let go while they were on the ground. I heard screaming, unless, I mean, I don't know, my hearing's going, but he was saying help. And she was saying, you're, you're beat. She said they tased him. Do you, okay. Officers then had to implement several uses of force, including baton strikes and a taser to stop Mr. Lucalini's attack on the officers. At that point, Officers were able to control Mr. Lucalini and escort him from the scene. Alexis said they then threw him in in the van, escort him. She said they carried him out of the home. They asked no questions when they burst in. And by the way, that was their affidavit. Maybe they did hear, get off of me, Luke, Mike. Maybe they heard that, but maybe they didn't. I'd like to be able to trust everything they put in an affidavit, but I don't know. Carried him from the scene, they said escort, maybe it's semantics. Police took to social media to defend themselves to posting. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Mayor, Let's just get in there now before I read this nonsense, because I think we know where it's going. First of all, if, if there's a threat to the officer, 
Why is one officer pre trying to pre prevent the video from being recorded by shining his light? Why you walk away from an officer in threat to shine a light on the person filming you? Secondly, if you if it's really a problem, why is the other officer yelling, beat him? So the officers on the scene, one of them saying, yeah, beat him, beat him, beat him. The other one's beating him and the other one's shining a light on his girlfriend so you can't record it. That sounds like a real damn threat to me. Unfortunately, the threat's not to the officers. It's to the guy who's in handcuffs with his face down on the ground. This is ridiculous. And of course, the damn cops went online to defend themselves because they feel like they have every right to treat people any way they want to when you don't respect their uncontrolled and out of control authority. They threw them in a the van. They could have killed them like they did Freddie Gray. A rough ride, I think they called it, Mayor. Rough ride. Rough ride. And look, I know you. we told you what they were allegedly called for, domestic violence. Hey, hey folks, I know I don't tell you this. You're not the judge and the jury. You show up and you try to figure out what's going on and you protect the public. They barged in, she said she had to grab her child, answered no questions, picked him up, took him out of there, tased him, beat him with a baton. But guess what? I don't see anything about domestic violence. We'll talk about that, but there are charges here. Mayor alluded to what's on social media, the police defending themselves, posting with the DA saying, quote, the Allentown Police Department Use of Force Board has investigated the incident in its entirety and determined that the force used by officers was justified. So this is not worth the paper it's written on or posted on or whatever, because we need to know more about this board and it's always justified. Despite what our eyes say, they twist and they, it's like a pretzel. They twist around every scenario to make it justified. I want people who, who get untwisted from that pretzel. I just want you to protect the public and keep safe and realize you work for all of us. But it seems like, I don't know, people like to let off some steam on another human body. It's what it feels like. Escalate, escalate, escalate. Okay. My goodness, get a hobby. Other than this. So let's talk about the chief. He'll clear this up, right? The chief will have something to say that we'll get. All right, here's the chief of police, Charles Roca, has failed to publicly comment on the incident. Okay. Michael, I told you we'd get to this part, right? Came in the call, da da da. Charged with resisting arrest and two counts of aggravated assault on a police officer. I thought they were there about domestic violence and something, a disturbance, a disturbance. We'll call it a domestic call about a disturbance. But now it says he resisted arrest, aggravated assault. That's a serious charge on a police officer. Bail now set at 50 grand. Preliminary hearing on the charges against him set for this day in district court. So this thing has already been adjudicated by this uh, use of force board mayor. It's justified and there's nothing to see here. And if we are alarmed by the footage that his partner Alexis took, get over it. Because you know the police had to do, they had to do something about the perp's leg was wrapped around and so they had to beat him. Boy, this, that sounds like a domestic abuse issue. They had to beat him. They had to tase him and they had to throw him in the back of that van. They say escort. She says they threw him in the back of the van. What say you? I, I don't know if it's a difference. I mean, whenever I hear police say something like escort or like resisting arrest, it just means we ain't got nothing else to do. We got no charges that we can do or uh, place this on, place on these people. So we're just going to throw that around. So. <laughs> They probably did in their eyes escort him off the property, but in everybody else's eyes, they tossed him in the van like he was a potato. The tragic part about this is we continue to see this, like you said, from coast to coast, um, north to south, police officers abusing this power. We need a different type of policing in this country. It is not by mistake that this, that this institution is distorted. They have so much unchecked power over people. Um, and I think until we are until we are serious about revamping what policing mean in America, when we take away some of this unchecked power, unfettered power, uh, we're going to continue to have incidents like this where people can mm -hmm. be beat in front of their child. Can they can run up in your house and snatch you out of your house? Yeah. Um, 
I also want somebody to really, really, and I'm not being um, coy with this. I really think there should be a study. We know lead creates aggression in children. These guys walk around with a lot of lead on them every day. Oh. day. What is that lead doing to them? The gun, the bullets. Mm. Is that is that is that affecting them? Because these are some aggressive people. What is it in police officers that make them show up this way? From New York to New Haven mm-hmm. to California and San Diego to uh, Miami, Florida. Why are all officers willing to stand on people's cars and shoot over and over, reload the clip and continue to shoot people, even though all they're doing is violating some traffic law? I I think you're right. I would like to have that study commissioned about lead, your lead study, and also. I'll call it a chicken and an egg study, which did they, are they attracted to this controlling profession? Did they show up this way? Did it exaggerate it once they did put on the uniform and badge? I, I think these are fair studies and we got money for everything else, but we got to figure this out. And I'll end with this because, you know, people say, well, well, what if they were trying to save a domestic violence victim? They had to get in there. They weren't even being safe. You don't even know. What is going on? You just got barge in. What if what if there was an armed guy there who's going to kill his his partner and the child? What if he's going to shoot and kill you, officer? I think you just wanted to just be aggressive, dude. Because the way they proceeded is not even it can't possibly be protocol. Just barge right in, bang bang, we're in. 